Hi. Hey. I was going to come to your room soon. Sit. Why? What's up? First off, you don't see me and say, hey, Pops. <sighs> but that, you should be used to all this by now. You literally lived all your life in New York. Exactly why I'm not going to allow you lose your sanity and morals over growing up in New York. Like you said, I grew up there myself. I haven't lost my senses. My senses are still intact. What is wrong with you? What's all this supposed to be? Some moral and etiquette class? Huh? Well, reports reaching me says that you have been treating the food painstakingly cooked and served you with disdain since we got here. First of all, I don't give a hoot whoever that is reporting, and I don't care. You need to watch it. That's my mom you're referring to. Oh, I never knew she gossips. What? I do not gossip. And I did, I'm not a gossip. All I did was tell your father what you did. Ernest, warn your son. I'm, I'm sorry, mom. Dad, did you see that? Huh? Young man, you need to watch it. You need to be careful. Referring to grandma as a gossip is an insult, so she deserves an apology. Give her an apology now. I'm out of here. Ray Ford! Ray! No, you're here speaking English, but do not worry. I will collect my apology. and span, just like the bedrooms. The only thing left to do are the toilets. Make sure there's white as snow, all right? And then the compound. You clean the compound and make sure it's spiffy, just the way I like it, okay? Why is that? What's the matter? But Nekunye, you're still a young girl. Stand up, not while grandma is standing, all right? Well, all these things I've mentioned need to be done huh? while I'm off to the market. Before I come back at whatever we're cleaning, I need to go to the market to buy stuff for stew for okay. my son. And then I want to make onubu soup. Oh. Yes, you see, my son loves onubu soup. I love it too. You do? Yes. Well, we'll give you a bit out of it. See, he has not had onubu soup in the past two years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Real wow. <laughs> I'll have to be on my way now. I okay? can't wait to meet your son. You, you've spoken so much about oh. onubu. My son is so handsome and so dear to you. Well, the most important thing that the icing on the cake is that my grandson, my only grandson, is coming. Wow! Yes, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I have to rush out now, okay? Okay, So good. you do the needful, all right? Okay, good. See you soon. Grandma, please, and um, buy me pear and corn. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're a ghost. That's way ghost. Thank you.
yet. Ha! From my calculation, they're supposed to have been here before I got back from the market. It's even better they're not back, so by the time they come, the food is ready. Mama, did you buy the pier? What soon did I buy the pier? No. Go and wash the meat and get everything ready. I wonder what's keeping them. I, I don't understand what is going on. Eh? Huh? Ernest, uh, uh, talking, is he? Can you fall? Do you please. think something must have happened to the plane the body? God forbid. Mama, calm down. Calm down. I told you, maybe they stopped or, um, um, to buy something else. They will be here soon. I told you that. Something like what? I don't know, but you know these things happen. Maybe they stop. But I'll be fair now. See, the way I'm feeling, I know something is wrong. God forbid. I have this premonition that something is not... Is that the, their car? No. Uh, yeah. Grandma, come on. These rest. people that play music on the road. Can That's you how they give me. Eh? Come on, rest eh? now. Rest. <sighs> Told you about, yeah? Yes, sir. She's oh. the one that keeps everywhere clean. She helps me. Yeah, I remember so her. I got a, a few things for her as well. Hey! <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> hey, you're going to warm. Hey, Chibike. Look at my grandson. In my fire? So, who is Zenabo? Did they not look when you left? What did she say? Nah. You make a mistake, eh? Oh, you give me a hug. Yeah, 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 grandma, grandma. How are you? Is there anything wrong with his hand? No, no. Chibike, Grandma wants a hug. Come on. Oh, come on. First of all, it's Ray Ford. And as for the hug, I don't think it's necessary, okay? Please, can you show me the way to the bathroom? This place is really hot. Catch you all later. You can't feel a bit of the hot. This is the beginning of hotness. No, not everybody can stand that ball. <laughs> Do not worry. Oh, my grandson, I can't stand him. Eh? So, did you buy things? Did you absolutely have a lot you in the front? Mom, I have missed your cooking. I know. It's been two years now. I know. I told me along that you would definitely miss your favorite. Absolutely. A great deal. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Chibuike, I am... Um... Rayford, please. Okay, whatever it is. I hope you're enjoying, or you will enjoy the food when you finally start eating it. I, listen, I prepared this specially for you. I'll my can we see five. Um, why are you not eating? It, what this it, it smells I I, I, I I can't eat this I can't possibly eat it even if I'm supposed to eat it what am I supposed to eat it with my my hands no cutlery nothing Chibi K. Dan, it, it's very forward are you are you also going to run my life here on the dining table okay I, you you can't possibly force me to eat this 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 is disgusting come on grandma's meal disgusting she especially made this for you Okay, I, I can't do it. I can. Can I have something else like French fries, burgers, something, something? Chibi case, not like. It's Rayford, Daddy. Rayford. 
How many times will I have to tell you it's Rayford? Are you having memory relapse? I, I told you I changed my name like three years ago and you're still struggling to deal with it. I'm done. I'll pass. <laughs> So that dress is about 30 pounds, I think. <laughs> I, the black one is my favorite with the red trim. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my favorite oh. as well. I got that from Zara. No, why? Look at me wearing designers. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, the next time you go to my abada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so because you didn't bring any abada this time. I'll buy for you. Uh, look at you, you're tired. I'm tired. I know, I'm your tired. son has been a handful all day. All day, Mom? Mm -hmm. You mean has been a handful all his life? <laughs> well, you don't blame him. He's just a child. How old is he now? Just a child? <laughs> Mom, the boy is almost 18. 18? You don't go be fetching what can I He's still a child. You know, I remember when you took him. He was just about two years old. Yeah, there were three, actually. <laughs> yeah, and it has, he had two teeth in his mouth. Mm. And uh, you said you wanted the best for your son, so yeah. there was no way I could stop you. And now see what he has become. A nuisance. Complete nuisance. Ah, Mom, don't remind me. Airport today. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. What happened? The boy got into a fight with one of the airport officials. I'm telling you, got him wounded. Shimo, are you serious? Absolutely, Mom. Well, I landed, I was supposed to start heading home, and I was at the airport for four hours mm. trying to pacify them and have, them, have him released. And we were here waiting. Why? He has really embarrassed himself. He must be so ashamed of himself. Ashamed? <laughs> Ray fought. Jimmy K is never ashamed of anything. Oh. He was there just ranting, Oh, this is an infringement on my privacy. I'm suing this damn airport. Ah, da, 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 da. Yada, 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 yada. And I was like, Can you calm down? You just injured an official. Oh my God. <sighs> that boy is something else. He brought all his American behavior down here. Mom, to be honest. I don't see myself going back with that boy. What do you mean by that? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of leaving him back. <sighs> leaving him back with who? Oh, a retired old head teacher? Oh, well, I... I think it's the best thing to do. He'll he'll be able to cope. <laughs> Which I have a plan. Okay, maybe you leave him behind and I'll be able to to correct his head. Yeah. <laughs> we fix his head. You know your mother. Yeah, mom. You know how I was with you. Yeah, I know. I don't know how he's going to take it, but I'm just, yeah. uh, just, just thinking about it. Don't worry yourself. Leave this one to me, all right? All right, Mommy, she can get some sleep, right. okay? So, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Mama. Coffee, first thing in the morning. I would appreciate it. Oh, my dear. Good night. Good night. So long. So well. <laughs> Ma. Hey, I was going to come to your room soon. 
sit. Why? What's up? First off, you don't see me and say, hey, Pops. <laughs> but that, you should be used to the old days by now. You literally lived all your life in New York. Exactly why I'm not going to allow you lose your sanity and morals over growing up in New York. Like you said, I grew up there myself. I haven't lost my senses. My senses are still intact. What is wrong with you? What's all this supposed to be? Some moral and etiquette class. Huh? Well, reports reaching me says that you have been treating the food painstakingly cooked and served you with disdain since we got here. First of all, I don't give a hoot whoever that is reporting, and I don't care. You need to watch it. That's my mom you're referring to. Oh, I never knew she gossips. What? I do not gossip. And I did, I'm not a gossip. All I did was tell your father what you did. Ernest, warn your son. I'm, I'm sorry, mom. Dad, did you see that? Huh? Young man, you need to watch it. You need to be careful. Referring to grandma as a gossip is an insult, so she deserves an apology. Give her an apology now. I'm out of here. Ray Ford! Ray! No, you're here speaking English. But do not worry. I will collect my apology. Times have I warned you not to step into my room without my notice? And you asked me to come in. Well, isn't, isn't it obvious I was sleep talking? So, how is it my fault that you were sleep talking? You, you're, you're talking back at me? What, what insolence? Now, get out of my room before I lose it. Come here. You come here. I, 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 where's my phone? I left it here. here. See, let me tell you, you think this device is a toy? Your whole family put together, sold into slavery, cannot be half of the amount I used in getting this device. Now get out of my room. Get out before I lose it. Nonsense. Yeah. So Jasmine, what I was trying to say is there are a few things about this, this country that you know, I, I didn't I didn't see it over there, but he, be, me being here, I, I see things much better. And you know, the 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 air is fresh. Though I, I find it very I find it very um, uncomfortable that most houses here are gated, like they have high fences. You can't even see the beauty of the compound. So what 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 then is the essence of getting a very beautiful house? with a very high fence surrounding it. Yeah, a lot of people say it's security, but I don't see it as. Well, it's, it's, unlike, it's unlike what we have there. You know, you just have people live in a community without all that, those um, security issues. Yeah. But it's all good, yeah. Fresh, nah, I don't think, I don't think the water is that fresh. I don't, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, green veg, yes. Yeah, they have a lot of greens here. Yes, very fresh greens. <laughs> but, but, but I can't wait to come back. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I just, yeah, I still miss, yeah, I still want to eat all those. Yes, exactly. I'm craving for it right now. Well, well I think uh, there's this soup my granny had the other day it was it, it was called uh a go nah i can't yes i can't pronounce that 
but it it, it looks really uncomfortable like I, I can't eat it yeah okay that's fine that's fine i have to call you back all right let me just enjoy my view bye stay safe thanks bro Um, actually, I cited you first. My name is Raymond. I am Chukwe Emeka. You can call me Chuks for short. <laughs> People in this village have very uncouth names. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, it's fine, it's fine. I was just joking. Uh, may I sit? Sure. Great. Thank you. Can I share? <laughs> sure. Well, you have to be careful. You must make sure your head is good for it. <laughs> can land you into a big mess. Um, I really have things that are stronger. <laughs> yeah, I know all about this. <laughs> like what? I'll show you. Nice. Nice, really nice. You can take this. What's that? <laughs> it will help you digest the smoke. Are you sure I can take this? <laughs> sure. I trust you. <laughs> trust in me for the first time. Yuck. <laughs> Ah, how do you drink this? <coughs> mm. one big happy family. <laughs> one big happy family indeed. We were just a family of three. Yes, a family of three that had kids from other families flocking around the dining table whenever your meals were ready. Uh, you know, that's true. I remember, I remember very well. You know, we used to be a source of hope for most of those children. And I used to dream and hope I would have more children. But when I look at you and how you have turned out, <laughs> I mean, look at you, handsome, successful, name it. You're one in a million. Right. And then regret all that thought and praying for having another child. Well, such is life. Mm -hmm. And let's look at it this way. Perhaps we're destined to have just one kid in our family. I mean, look at me, I have just one. Talking of which, where's Chibiki? Nyalum! Nyalum! Grandma! For the first time she answers after calling her twice. Where is Chibiki? He left since morning, I've not seen him. I'm tired. I don't even know what to do with this boy. This is now a new habit. He wakes up at noon, eats, and vroom, he's out to God knows where without telling no one. He returns at a wheel. 
Mm. Yellow, yeah, no, that's fine. You, you can go back to what you were doing. <laughs> I have no clue what to do. Uh, I, I don't know what to do anymore. He's a New York boy. <sighs> something didn't you hear me calling you you were not calling my name you were yelling my name oh would you shut your trap huh why is my food not served that was what i was doing what you were what I, are you okay and what's this hostility for that yellow wouldn't fix me a meal and I'm hungry and she's stabbing me. I don't think she was deliberately delaying. I mean, she's been busy all evening. Dad, can you please stay out of this? Because I don't see any reason why you should be siding her. You wouldn't tell me what to do, young man. And where the hell have you been? Well, I went out with my friends. Oh, you think you can just strut in here and demand for food of your will? Oh, that's fine. You guys could keep it. Eat and not. I am still talking to you! Oh, guy, is this your fault? You shot it. How dare you? You village thing. How many times have I warned you not to walk into my room uninvited? I was knocking, you did not hear me because you were carried away playing this children's game. Leave. Get out! Come on, eat your food. Leave my room before I do something you wouldn't like. Come on, eat the food you asked me to prepare. I am not your slave. Come on, eat it. What is wrong with this person? This girl is a nightmare. Yellow? 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 This girl is dead. Could you let us in the room and eat um, whatever is fresh and yeah. healthy again? Okay, I agree with you. Young man? Hey then. What do you need yellow for? Okay, I, I want her to take this to the kitchen and wash it up. No way. If you eat the food, you do the dishes. Dad, it's past 11 p.m. You don't expect me to wash dishes at 11 p.m. Well, if you're not going to wash dishes at this odd hour, then maybe you don't eat at this odd hour. Dad, why do you always downplay my opinion in matters? Well, you're not going to come in here and do whatever you like, however you want it. Not on that this room. Wow. I saw it coming. I knew this whole conversation was headed towards that direction. Yes, I, I knew it. Dad, let me tell you, if you're no longer comfortable that I'm eating your mama's food, then you better tell me to discontinue because I'll gladly do. Okay? I will. But you have to find me an alternative. I will have to find you an alternative? Are you kidding me right now? Come no, on, sit yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one minute. I'm still talking to you. you. You know, that is called New York influence. But really, I blame you. Maybe you should go wash the dish. Ever since um, you brought back your son to the village, I have observed him, and I think something is grossly wrong with him. You know, aside taking drugs once in a while, like you said, in America, I, 
I really think he's gone mad. Mad? No, mom, no, mom. There's nothing wrong with him. There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. Just, it's just complicated. Can you please explain the complication so that I would understand? And what are those empty bottles of alcohol doing in my living room? What the hell are they doing there? What happened in my living room, GBK? Dad, I had some few friends over and... GBK, what happened in my house? It's Rayford, Daddy. Will you shut up? Dad, listen, I will be done with high school in a few months. So what is wrong with few young people coming together to unwind? Unwind? When they should be in school learning? Is that what I thought you? What the hell is wrong with you? Listen to me, young man. I'm going into my room right now to have a bath. I'm going to come back here if I as much as find your silhouette still hanging around. You would hit me? No. You would hit me? Really, Dad? This is 21st century. Yes, and remember we're in America. You don't go around hitting people or else you go to jail. Right. Yes. GBK. You were caught with a rifle. Who are you? Who are you? I am not about to be walking in and out of Crime Fighter's office just because of you. This is your last straw. I am done trying to save your ass. You hear me? If you get into crime again, one more time, you are going down for it. You are going to jail. I was never there for Emma. I didn't even know she was pregnant until she had delivered and the boy was two months old. It was her mother that sent for me and I hurriedly came back to Nigeria from New York just to find out that Uma died at childbirth. It was devastating for me. I felt really guilty and I wanted to make amends. Which is why I, I took in Chibike and did everything for him. I, I gave him the love I didn't give his mother. I gave him everything I couldn't give his mom. Everything. So, because you couldn't give everything to his mom, and also because you did not marry the woman, your girlfriend that you were in love with, you felt guilty. And so you had to spoil the boy. You spared the rod and spoiled the boy. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Yes. You see the... Yeah, that, that's a building. And I think these are fruits behind me. It's a fruit tree. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Yo, yo, look at that man coming behind me. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think this... Is it this Look how funny his mustache is. What's wrong? Why you hey, got... delete my image from that. Delete my name, delete my image, everything about me, delete from here. Why now? are you yelling? Are you okay? It's just a video. Video bogey there. Video bogey there. Look at this one. What is video? 
Why must you video me without my consent? Did you take my permission? What is wrong with you? What's bad about it? Why are you being so uncivilized? You call me uncivilized? You insult me? Hey, okay. I will know who your parents are. I must find out who they are and report you to them. Look at you. What, 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 what's wrong with you? Huh? Why are you making noise? What is this, this, this nonsense boy? My, this boy is Mr. Ernest Son. Very, very insulting. Eh? Yo, are you okay? Are you mad or something? Who brought you into this? Get the hell out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Nine. You mean Ernest? Yes. Uh, Machi son, the one in America? I'm telling you. No wonder. What, what is this twerp talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm not Just, even staying come here. Come here, come here. Mark it about twerp. Nagi twerp, nagi twerp. Your grandfather, your grandmother, all of them, twerp, twerp, twerp. You, you keep twerping at home. That's why you go to America and you learn nothing. Yeah, you come back empty brand. You lose your mind, you lose your heart, you lose everything, you lose, you, including your head. Yeah? You, 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 you. Come here, come on, bring, bring that here. Yeah, What have I done again? I am not your mate. Get that into your thick skull. Come on, what's the cause of your fury? You are the cause of my fury. Now, let me tell you something. Whether you're spoiled and over pampered, I don't care. All I need you to know is that I will not tolerate it anymore. What's this nonsense of you going into, into the village and, and calling a red cap chief a twerp? Oh, that is what all this is about. Is that what you say? Ibuandala, how can you ask me that kind of question? Didn't you do it? Come on, for crying out loud, he, he abused me for, he offended me first. He said I was irresponsible. Of course you were irresponsible. I mean, why would you go around the village taking pictures of people without asking for their permission? That means you're totally irresponsible. Come on, how is that a show of irresponsibility? You know what, Grandma? I'm tired. I'm tired of this hostile situation. I need to leave. Oh, really? You need to leave? Leave with which passport? Your documents that have already seized? But let me tell you. You see this? My treating you like someone that came back from New York is not working again. Because I've seen that you don't care. So the only way to deal with you, good news, is to treat you like every other normal human being. You know what? I'm going to tell your father. <laughs> He's definitely going to be on my side. Oh, really? He would, right? Grandma, my father is no longer that vindictive, barbaric African like every other person here is. He's been schooled about. He behaves like the rest of us in the Western world. He would never hit me. Mr. Western man. If your father doesn't hit you, I would hit you. And by the time I'm done with beating you, I'll smack you. I'll smack your bum bum like a baby. Idiot. You need to start respecting people around you. Grandma, you're too old for this. What did you say? Wow, my mom is hilarious. <laughs> You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, ma. Beautiful girl. Thank you, ma. You're very lucky to have my son as a husband. I know, right? And look at him. <laughs> Handsome, well made, well read. Well, you make my head swell right no, now. Where's your kubundu? They say truth is life. Thank you, ma. Yes. So, you're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you've entered a great home. And um, I hope you will make him happy. Mm -hmm. eh? You I, take care of him. Yes, Ma. Everything I can. Please, I will. because he's my only child. <laughs> and also, my son loves, uh, and I like petting. You can see, you know, sometimes when he's hungry and food is not ready, you, you know what to do up here. Am I being Oh, well, anyway, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you very much. Uh, so, where are you from? Oh, I'm from a quiet room. Oh, quiet room! She needs to get your fresh! 
That means you know how to cook your afang soup. It's like uh, egg cocoa or hey, no, what? whatever you want, ma. Hey! It's funny that I've not seen Chibuike anywhere. Chibuike. <laughs> Chibuike has gone out. Oh. And you know, he goes out in the mornings and... And that's it. She was hoping to meet him. I don't even want to talk about that. Child. Mama, he's still your grandson. Eh? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Biological. Okay, maybe it's time to just um, cook something. Time right? to put her cooking to test. Is your what that would you want to eat, Mama? Afang. Mm. Very way. Yeah, 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 no. Bro, so just, that that's not how we see it. Oh wow! <laughs> so I got it wrong. Yes, very very wrong. <laughs> so. So that's a minus for me then. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how do you say, how are you doing? Okay, um, you know, that can actually sound like a pleasantry okay. and also a question. Yeah. So you just simply say, Kedu Kimiri. I don't think nah. you can say that. No, nah, <laughs> I can't say that. That's too long and complicated. Yeah, because this is the reason I prefer the white man's culture over ours. They make everything very short and simple for your convenience. So how did what I said now not short and simple? Okay. In America, we say, how you're doing. <laughs> like you mean how you're doing? No, you do <laughs> no, not that. See, listen. It's you say here in Nigeria, how are you doing? That's too long. Yes. But we say, how are you doing? No, but that's even more complicated. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't just know no, how to it's say better, it. it's better I go with my Keduki in here. <laughs> Not which one is how, how you're doing. You're doing okay, <laughs> as if, as if you're, you're very local. Your you're very local. I agree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, how is the university? Not bad, ma'am. We're doing our bit. <laughs> I can imagine. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Dad. Hey, babe. What's up? Good. Who is he referring to as babe? You? <laughs> Does it know that someday she's going to be his stepmom? He's all grown up now. I've all grown up and very stupid. Disgusting and very insolent. Mm. Mom, what? You spoiled him. It's about time you admitted. You gave him a mile. When all he Deserved was a yard. He spotted, and, and that is what is left of his cranky self. Mama, please calm down. I'm sure it can't be that bad. Really? A bad son brought up by a good father. So, um, speaking about Chibuike. This is recent weird attitude. It's, it's something. It calls for concern. What would you have me do? You are his father. You raised him. The boy has turned to everything that you raised him to be. Uh, the truth is I... I didn't really raise Chibuke. Remember, I was working seven jobs, and aside from the time you helped out, I will always hire nannies to cater for him. Hmm. So you chose to hire a nanny to raise your only child as against your mother raising him for you? Well, I didn't want him growing up in the village. I wanted a better life for him. You were much more interested in packaging. Oh. Your son got all the packaging you desired, but he lost the sanity. My boy 
has his sanity intact. This is just a phase that will pass. And as I think you're just making excuses for this boy. You know the truth. Mama said you're planning to leave him here. Is that true? Well, I'm still thinking about it. I haven't made up my mind yet. <sighs> what are you going to do now? Because that boy needs some family values and moral values instilled in him. Brave! You're leaving me with just one option. And if I take that option, you will be sorry for yourself. What the hell are you doing hard drugs for? What? What have I done for you? Ray? Can you imagine this boy? What have I done for you? I have done practically everything for you, but what do you pay me back with? Doing hard drugs? You know what? I'm leaving your sorry ass in this country. Get out! Get out! Get out! I said get out! Who is it? That it's me. What is it? Dad, we need to talk. You don't get to call the shots here, I do. It's not about calling the shots. I won't talk to my father. Well, you make it snappy for him. I'm quite busy at the moment. What is this thing I'm hearing about you taking another wife? I owe you no explanation. So that's where we are now. Vanessa used to take care of you when you were much, much younger back in New York. But it's sad that your drug reeking brain will not be able to remember. Drugs have wiped your memory. That, that's not the point. The point is, is I'm getting married to Vanessa and there's nothing you or anyone can do about it. When were you going to tell me? Never. If you have nothing else to say, get out of my room. Mama, mm. with the way things are going, I am honestly scared. Scared of what? Mama, what if this boy becomes a major shortcoming to my husband and I? <laughs> he will not. What makes you say that? This boy is not only spoiled, Mama. He's slowly becoming so arrogant and old style. Don't you see the way he speaks to your house, El? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I see everything. But I know he will not become a problem. Mama, what makes you so certain? Hmm? It seems you're not seeing what I see. The future. I still believe it won't be a problem. Trust me on that. So are you leaving now? It's 4 p.m. already. I thought you said your, your brother wanted you to run errands for him. See, that my brother should just rest. He has his apprentice there. He should send one of them. Talking about your brother, what exactly does he do? You always liken him with apprentices whenever his name pops up in our conversation. Hey, my brother is mechanic. Oh yes, he's good at it because people from our village and outside our village come to patronize him. I see, that's right. Nice. You know, I'd, I'd really love to meet him one of these days. Me too. My brother? Yes. No, 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 no. Why? That would be great. <laughs> it would be great for you. But for me, it's a bad idea. 
really why <laughs> my brother is going to tell you terrible things about me terrible things like what see like how i refused to join him after secondary school how my mates are better than me how i go about the village looting everything smoking weed see all those things are nonsense they're all crap okay relax chill take a deep breath i want to ask you a question see you can ask anything but please i beg you don't sound like him which of those things is not true <laughs> i know you were expecting see, something see, more serious i was i was i was ready to give you i a know punch. i know but i chill. was ready to give you a punch. no please don't <laughs> 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 that got you yeah where is vanessa she went to her parents. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did she tell you anything? Anything like what? Anything like anything. Did she say anything before me? Mom, I don't know what anything means. Huh? If she has shared something with you, it would only be nice you, you share with me as well. Okay, let me just tell you. She's not happy. She's worried and scared about your son. What? She doesn't know what he will end up becoming. Why is Vanessa going on and on about this boy? I mean, he's, he's only 18. 18? Only 18? He's not going to stay 18 for life. Besides, I have heard that in America, even children as young as 12 years old carry guns. My boy is not an American child. <laughs> Say that again. But that is how you have brought him up, to become an American boy. And for your information, let me tell you, I'm just tolerating that boy. Because <laughs> one is your son, and secondly, he just arrived. So I'm just giving him that soft treatment. But very soon, the music will change. And oh, what yes. are you going to do with my son? I will deal with him in a way that he would know that he cannot eat his cake and have it. Do you have any plans on how to handle your son? Uh-huh. Well, if you do not have plans, <laughs> your mother has got plans for your son. Mm -hmm. Woo! Man. That was close. Hey. That was really close. I think because he came back from America. He... Hey, chill, <laughs> chill. Okay. I still got this. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey, <laughs> God, please. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> bro. Um, how do you think of it? Eh? I saw your dad's wife outside when I was coming in. Man, that woman is beautiful. Oh, God. I seem to be the only one around here with a perfect eyesight. Like, there's nothing beautiful about that lady. Uh -huh. That's true. Do you know I don't like the way you talked to her on the day of her traditional marriage? You literally embarrassed her in the presence of everyone. Listen, I have to develop a tough skin so I can be respected and my opinions too can be respected. Because if I'm not respected, then they would treat me like trash. So that's it. And I thought your dad was going to kill you that day. Because you, you just embarrassed her. Well, the only thing he's doing is just give me silent treatment, that's all. Just that? Wait. What do you expect? You think he would hit me? In no way he doesn't hit me. You called his wife a bitch in the presence of everyone on a traditional married day. Listen, it's three months, guy. It's three fucking months. Can you just get past that and let's concentrate on this game? It's fine. It's fine. Before you will say I made you lose your game. Bro, I'm going to wipe you I'm now. done. <laughs> such a <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> Look at you. When I'm winning you, you're done. My bro, bad. <laughs> because I'm winning you and you're done. Who said? Oh, bad. Who said? You're the one that posted. Please don't post it. You know why? We trash you. We do where you belong. Put you where you belong. Hello. Hello. Yes, I am off for a meeting. Okay. Uh, when you're done cooking, please dish some into the cooler. Okay. All right. I'm um, gonna. Yes. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? I think Chibike knows where you hid the phone and might break into your room and take it. You think he knows where I hid it? I'm not certain about it. You don't have to repeat yourself. 
I've gone hide it somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> From there, I'll head out for the meeting. All right, bye, ma. Okay, see you later. You too. Process. Don't you think you should slow down? Slow down on what exactly? This cocky and arrogant attitude. It doesn't suit. Well, I have a better advice for you. How about you just stick to minding your own business? Don't touch me. Thank you. What happened? Why are you so uncaught towards everybody? Maybe I want all of you to stay the hell away from me. And if you don't have any other thing to do, why don't you just go and stay with your husband? Thank you. Your wife around, oh my God. Um, she's at a salon. I, I'm heading there now. Ah, you're heading to the salon to pick your wife. Forgive me, Kwanu. Now, yeah. Must you follow your wife all over the place? I'm not following her all over the place. She's done making her hair. I just want to pick her up. Okay. Ah, nah, you know. Uh, when are you going back to New York? <laughs> Mama, I'll be going back soon. Are you bored of me already? You want me to go? <laughs> You're my only son. I can never be bored. Hey, no, it's not that. It's just that I've been wondering about. Do you trust me? Absolutely, Mama, I do. So, uh, you remember that thing we talked about? That thing we discussed? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mom. But uh, it still doesn't sit well with me. Why? I mean, Mom, this is not the 80s or the 90s or even 2000s when you were still agile. Uh, Mama, are you trying to say that I'm an invalid? No, Mama, I never Mama, said because that. because before you know it, I drop into this your car faster than yourself. So what are you calling me now? It's fine. I'm just, I'm just thinking son, about you. Son, just trust me. Trust your mother. Okay, okay. That's fine. I'm not agreeing yet. I'm not saying yes to anything. I will give you some more thoughts, but... If you know yeah. that's okay, I know my son. Once you say okay, <laughs> eh, you can now go and pick up your wife. All right, see you eh? soon. But please, stay in the can. Call her. Don't enter the salon, no. I'm a baba and follow, follow husband. Oh, be clear, my car. Oh, my oh, that's a priceless. Their love is undying. No matter how old we Your sanity, but apparently you have you have lost your sense of hearing. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear me calling you? Can't you respond? Why are you shouting now? I was doing something for grandma. Don't you ever utter a word back at me when I'm talking to you. Are you crazy? Fix my damn meal. I'm not on your life. You want your meal fixed? It's not possible. How dare you waste that dirty, filthy hand of yours on a young woman? Grandma, I asked her to fix my meal and she was delaying me. Now apologize to her at once. Oh my goodness, I, Raymond Ennis, apologize to this ugly looking archer over my dead body. 
over my living body. Will you eat anything in this house? And you, don't you ever give him, not even a muscle of food, until I say otherwise. Where's my father? I need to speak to him. I am done staying in this goddamn village. In case you don't know, honey, you are trapped. You are in hell. It's okay now. Was the stuff that bad? Let me see. Dad. Dad, can you hear me? Are you in here? Dad, we need to talk. Dad. You know, the tastiest snail you can prepare is when you fry it with onions. Not boiling it, honestly. Well, you boil when you're cooking a... Uh, hey, Grandma. Um, Yellow, I need to feed you something to eat. What do you mean, hey, Grandma? What was I supposed to say? Don't you have manners? Don't you know how to greet elders? Did your father tell you that this is what I taught him? Well, apparently I'm not my father. Okay, and besides, we have experienced different civilizations. Different civilizations? Yes. Wow. Your own civilization has taught you to be stupid and irresponsible? Is that what you're saying? I wasn't talking to you, by the way. I was talking to you. My name is not Yelumu. Would you keep quiet? I'm talking to you. Please get me something fixed. I'm Will hungry. You shut up! How dare you? I mean, look at you. Mr. New York or New Civilization, whatever the nomenclature is. You will no longer eat in the South, yes? Until you learn to know that you're no longer in New York. Rather, you are in a remote village in Nigeria. A village that happens to be my village. <coughs> are, you, are you trying to stab me or something? Huh? Can you just shut up? In case your father didn't tell you, I do not tolerate nonsense. And I can be quite messless. You know what? Your days in this place as a visitor is over. Now you have to face the music. View music? <laughs> what view music? What? You don't even listen to any music. <coughs> there is nothing about this. Glorified. Uncivilized black circuit. Get out of my sight. If I shred you to bits. I have to talk to my father because I don't understand what is going on here. I have to talk to him. I have to speak to him. Look at you. Spoiled little brat. Cry baby. I want to speak to my father. You're an old man. You're coming here. And you want to speak to your father. I told him. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm one of you man. You know, you're quite seen a war, my friend. What can you do? He's such a, a brat. Spoiled child. Spoiled. But we'll show him. Please come and get me out of this shit hole. You know, I I didn't mean to come off the way I did yesterday, okay? Having said that, um, I'm hungry, okay? Just I haven't had anything to eat. Could you fix me up something? And that is supposed to be an apology. Grandma said you should apologize. Are you serious right now? What did I just do? Did I sing you a song? You see my problem with you? You are not chickord. You are not backward. Very yassad. Even in your apology, you still sound rude. Well, I am not in charge of the house. If you need anything, you go and meet your grandma. Um, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Thank you. I'm hungry. Yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wherever you fix the dates, you, you let me know. Yeah. Where is my father? I'll call you back.
what is the matter with you? Don't you know how to say good words? uses it. Damn it. Are you mad? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Let me tell you. Your father that you're looking for traveled two nights ago to New York with his new wife. Sorry, what, what did you just pew? Did you just talk to me like that? Have you lost it? How dare you lay those old wrinkled hands on my face? You want to know how? I give you a third one. Are you stupid? You, you old witch! I am I am going to call the cops on you. I'm going to send your old wrinkled ass to jail. Yes, I'm going to do it. I am going to... Somebody help me! She planned this whole thing with my dad. He left me in this godforsaken village and he ran back to New York. Exactly. He left me in the hand of that old witch of a mother to be tormented and eventually killed. See, you, you like my whole body is on fire. I feel like I'm in hell. Listen, can I call you back? My God. Bring me along. Why didn't you wash the clothes? Oh, no, sorry. The sun is much plus the struggle we had with this boy. I'm tired. Where is he? Grandma has been sleeping. Oh, that means it's not the Cameroon pepper that you bought. Why do you want to kill him? Oh. I saw him talking to his friend and afterwards he went to lie down. He's lucky. If it had been the Cameroon pepper, he wouldn't be sleeping. This one <laughs> has not dealt with him. At least he's able to sleep. Oh, Hala, let him sleep. Next time he will learn his lesson. Mm. Grandma. Mm -hmm. He's hungry. Mm. You know he has not eaten since yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you took all his money. What if he calls his father? <laughs> There's nothing happening here that his father is not aware of. Not the starving and then the, the pepper parts. Oh, well. Just those two. Mm -hmm. So it's not a good thing the father knows. What if he calls his father? <laughs> That's a far cry because he would never get his father, nor anyone around his father. Mm -mm. His father changed his number. Okay, Grandma, mm -hmm. this boy could faint too. You know, hunger has a way of making people faint. Like the other day, I almost fainted because my eye was turning me. Listen. Go and collect the, the uh, beans that you sent for grinding. Because I prepare moi moi tonight. Ah, you know he doesn't like moi moi. <laughs> so that's another night without food. Give me money for Walk down. You need the exercise. Or sing, give me money for pepper. Don't you know there's no 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 money in this system? But brother, what is all this now? What is all, what what is what is all this? Just because I took this useless life care from you, and you are making me look like as if I took the world from you. Eh? Now you have stopped giving me money. How do I get my own money? Eh? Is that the jam form I asked you to go and get? Brother, that is just to tell you that 
School is not my thing. I am not in for school thing. Hey, why, why can't you just understand this thing? I have given you money for this jam form over seven times. And you end up using it to smoke this your useless weed. Proving to you that I am not wired for all these cool things. I would have told you what I want to do with my life. See, bro, I don't even think that I will come and do all this your nonsense mechanic thing. I can never try that nonsense. Chuko Emeka, be very careful with me. Do you know I can get the police and arrest you? Be very careful with me, oh. Brother, you, 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 you will arrest me. Brother, you, you arrest me. Brother, I swear you. Try that nonsense if I don't bore you this shop. And if you inside, call me a bastard. Look at Enemy of progress. What progress? Where is the progress? Is it the stealing of my money to smoke this your useless weed you are calling progress? Where is the progress? Yes. Fool. Eh, uh, yes. I'm I'm a fool. Fool. I am a fool. Chuku Emeka, you are a wayward, stupid uh, weed smoker. A uh, bowling fool, yes. You are a stupid brother. Mm. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Wayford. Chicks is my friend. What are you doing here? Well, I went to our usual spot and you were nowhere to be found. But you should have waited for me until I come. I didn't know that was the plan. Um, CC, you are too responsible and well taken care of to want to mingle with this, this useless and nonsense weed smoker. What are you doing with him? Well, apparently I like to mingle with useless with smokers. We, 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 both of you just get out of my shop. Uh, get, 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 uh, get out of my shop. Don't, don't even try that nonsense again. I say get out of will, 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 will you leave my shop? Rayford, you're my only grandson. And I love you. Yet you gave me a pepper bath. Oh, but it didn't kill you. Oh, wow. So the idea was to kill me, huh? Mm -mm. The idea was to teach you a lesson. Anyway, there's something I want to discuss with you. Henceforth, if you leave my house in the morning, you come in not later than 4 p.m. Yes. And any time you overstay, just go back to wherever you're coming from because I won't let you into the house. And even when you are coming back from wherever it is you had gone to, you would still go back again. Are you kidding me? Do you understand what I said? Do you understand me? No, sir. And don't even think of calling your father because you can never reach him. Besides, he's gone somewhere so far, far away from you. All right? Who we'll called me? Grandma, yes. Food is ready. Okay, I'll be with you in like five minutes. Food, 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 food. Grandma. Food, food. What? Oh, well, food. Which one do you want? <laughs> you, my guy, you have to get a taste of African discipline, right? <laughs> so this this whole thing is funny to you, yeah? Uh, Listen, I was in a critical position yesterday. Listen, imagine being compressed to a spot and have someone my grandma's size sit on you. Tell me if you laugh after that. <laughs> see, see um, um, so, so you mean your dad left you? That's the thing. He left me under the claws of that old wicked witch. No, 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 no. See, you don't call your grandma a witch. She is not a witch. She's your grandmother. And it's a taboo to disrespect elders in this our village. See, okay? I don't care. I don't give a who's about that. Okay? She's my grandmother, yes. But how can she bait our own grandson with hot pepper? That's, that's, that's barbaric. My dad has to explain that part to me. And now, talking about your dad, how about him? Ever since I was told he left for, for New York, I haven't been able to reach him. No way. I've tried all means. Oh, come to think of it, why will your dad leave for New York with his new wife? And cut you off from reaching him. That's why? the point. I don't know why my father has to be this mean to me. What have I done to deserve no, that? Stop, no. Stop this. Why are you crying? You're a man. Men don't cry. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. Now, have you eaten anything? I haven't had no damn food in oh. two days. I've been starving. That mm -hmm. old witch is starving me. I told you don't call your grandma a witch. Don't call your grandma a witch, okay? Um, I think I have to get you something. You're looking like someone who wants to... 
pass out, okay? Who is there? Come in. What do you want, please? I want to be all alone in my room, please. I need to talk to you. I am clearly not in the mood to talk to anyone. Leave. I am one year older than you. And it's only nice that you listen to me. See, I've stayed longer than anyone with grandma. Even your father. So how do I come in? You are rude. Very uncultured. Now you listen. No, you listen to me. What is your problem? Why do you misbehave? You see the way you talk to that woman? Even if they didn't teach you respect, common sense should tell you to respect her. I got that with my money. Oh, so you want to drag it with me? No, I'm just saying that I haven't eaten in days, so I had to get this with my money. I, I'm hungry. You got it with your money. So why didn't you prepare it where you got it with your money? Not in my house. Come on, but I thought we were already... Ugh. Friends? Yes. How can we be friends? When you go sneaking around all over the place, we can never be friends until you change. I'm sorry. I'm too see. late. I'll rock you in. As you're going out, you you open and get yourself out. It's not fair, actually. Please. That's He's not into the kitchen at that time of the night. The city boy didn't even know that I knew he had possession of the, the keys and the bunch was inside his room. Oh, mm. Poor him. Grandma, mm -hmm. he must be extremely hungry for him to wake up by that time of the night. Mm -hmm. I feel he has learned his lesson. Mm -hmm. He has not even learned anything. He needs to learn more. Then I will forgive. And you said his father asked to speak to him. <laughs> Will you <he> let him? <laughs> See, until I mold that boy into what I want him to be, <laughs> not even his father would have access to him. Come on, this boy will run away. Eh? He will run. I'll do a person. <laughs> Before he plans and takes a step, H. Devo Panamia, he's my grandson. The same gene runs through both of us. Yes. So I'm way, way ahead of him before I try anything wrong. With which leg would he run? It's just so that they will not say I should go and look for an adult. I don't have strength. That's what I'm telling you now. You don't have to look for me. Once you say there's girl around, she will come back. So how will she know? Is she a witch like you said? I don't know. My grandma is very creepy. I don't even know what she's up to. Do you want me to handle her? Handle her how? Like, deal with her? No, 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 don't do that. I would handle her myself. I'll pay her back in her own coin. I'll sue her old wrinkled ass to jail for all the barbaric and inhuman things she's done to me. <laughs> and now that sounds like a threat that will never see the light of the day. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. So now, what do you plan to do? I have a plan.
grandma, I, I actually Will you get out of my sight? He was here to apologize. Shh. That's part of the bigger picture. Go now, what is this thing? Don't do this thing and kill your grandson. Everything I'm doing, my son is aware of. Get back to the kitchen. I'll say. Ilambara. I asked you and you would not listen. So I asked my God, and he did listen. I'm done. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask you this question, but it keeps keeping my mind. What? What is, what is the meaning of your name? Yellum. It means thing. Wow, such a beautiful name. <laughs> nice. Can you please indulge me the meaning of your name? What's that? What that means is, please stay with me. Please stay. Ha. Okay. Hey, I was meaning to ask. You have changed. Why? Why? Not like why. What happened? Well, sometimes one get really tired of fighting. Yes. And I think it's high time I started, you know, being in good terms with my grandmother. Very good. That reminds me. Uh, whenever you need an extra hand around the house, just call me. Hi, Jehovah. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. I want to wash. No, me. not today. Tomorrow or some other time. Not, not today. I was just. You know, yeah. just telling you so you are aware that I'm yeah, tomorrow, here tomorrow. tomorrow, please. Hey, thank God. Thank you. You're such a nice girl. <laughs> Ernest, calm down. I want to refer to Your son is fine. He's doing quite well. You don't have to worry yourself. Yes, yes, he's doing very well. Well, we had to take him to the rehab. That's all. <laughs> and Ennis, listen to me. Hey, Grandma. Please, can I talk to you for a few seconds? So, as I was saying, all right, he's at the rehab. I mean, the rehab, they're taking very good care of him. He's in safe hands. You don't have to worry yourself. GBK will be fine. Uh... <laughs> Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be proud of him at the end of the day. Grandma! How many times will I call you before you answer? You have forgotten your position in this house. Where is Chibike? He's sleeping. Sleeping? What? Sleeping by this time of the day, now watch here. Go and tell him that I want to see him right now. Get that, get that. What are you looking at? You use your eye to beg for things all the time. And I use my eye to refuse. Nonsense. Uncle mm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Grandma. I should myself. You're told to see it, you fool. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Binyalum told me that you wanted to discuss something with me. Yes, um, actually, my friend's brother, Chuk's brother. Hey! Is it that tout that you brought into my compound the other day? But that's not what you're here to talk about, Okia. Continue. His brother runs a mechanic workshop, and I really want to learn under him. I'm 
You want to be a mechanic? Yes, uh, it's something I've always wanted to do back in New York, but and I also have less for automobile repairs, so yeah, I want to do that. Well, that's a good one. I hope you're not lying to me. <laughs> In my own day, America, you people lie a lot. I hope you're not lying. No, oh, I'm for real this time. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. You're for real. <laughs> you are better being for real. But can open it up for real and I will reel you up. Yes. Well, well congratulations. That's Thank a good you. one, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Can I can I have some? No, nah, no problem. Then you buy you look for a knife or the one that I've got that you will take. I can, I can do it myself. Uh, yeah, go do it yourself. You can do yeah, it. American Jingle. Oh, yeah, we're in the Kelechi Our first love, mothers, our pastors, mothers, our teachers, our prayer warriors. Of course, our true baggy, if I pull it, good neggy. Of course, our true baggy, if I pull it, mama. You know that song? Yeah, one of the songs we used to sing when we were young. Kanje bezen kunaka. Kankili Kubo to need. Oh, oh. Ha! Hey, Grandma. Here comes my grandson, looking so you? handsome in <laughs> his you. overall. Thank you, Grandma. How was work today? Work was good, just stressed, but I'm fine. I know you. Grandma, I'm hungry. That is not a problem. Eh? Bianya Lum here prepared your food. Thank you. Bianya Lum, go and help yourself. Oh, yes, I, I can. <laughs> yes, I can yes. actually help myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Grandma. Uh, yeah. I love After you. After having your yes. bath. Oh, you, Grandma. Uh, Thank you, Yellow. Uh, do you want him to finish the food? Mm -hmm. You will cook again. Who go to me, Sinalo to me, me? Hi, Ernest. <laughs> it's a good thing you called because I can't wait to tell you what my mouth has been itching to talk about. What have you been itching to talk about, Mom? My grandson is changed. Honestly. I mean, he has become a professional mechanic. Do you know he wakes up in the morning, dresses up in his regalia, looking all neat and clean. And he still comes back early, still looking clean. Amazing, amazing. He's changed, honestly. <laughs> Wait until you see him. You sent for me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Rayford, I have noticed the effort and relentless passion you put in what you are learning here. I must say I am very happy for you. But honestly, I am surprised. Surprised about what, sir? My younger brother is your friend. While you have decided to make your life meaningful, my younger brother is still languishing in the pit of hard drugs and stealing. I'm happy that you made a new turn. Thank you very much, sir. If I may ask, what motivated you? <laughs> my grandmother. She motivated me. She made me to realize that one can be anything he wants to be, regardless of any circumstance. You, know, you see, sir, I was raised by different nannies, with my father jumping 
from one job to another. And while I was young, I thought I could get anything I wanted. And my father, on the other hand, made sure I got everything that I wanted. So when I came back to Nigeria, my grandmother made me to see things from a different point of view. The way I thought, my attitude with people, everything about me changed. So my grandmother motivated me. She's my hero. Ah. Sincerely, I am very happy for you. I am really, really happy for you. And I mean, your presence here has actually made my job very easy and less tedious. Elsa, this is something I've always wanted to do. So I'm thankful to you for such a beautiful opportunity to work with you. Anytime. Another thing, even at work, you are always very clean. Oh. <laughs> well, this, you know, back in America, people who specialize in the repairs of automobile are usually seen as very neat. You don't have to be dirty and unkept to prove that you're a mechanic. So if you see a white man going to work, you'd almost wish to do the same job he's doing. So that's why I picked this from. So you are mimicking the white man here in Nigeria? Not really, but on a good note. Oh, very good. Sincerely, I am proud of you. Very proud of you. So Thank you. are you not joining me to eat? No, sir. I need to return a car. I have, I have to do it now. Oh, OK, OK. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, my son, I came to thank you for helping in my grandson's transformation. I mean, the difference is so clear. He's a much better person now. Mama, I should be thanking you instead. <laughs> I wouldn't have had him as a blessing if not for the motivations you gave to him. He told me, he said, whatever he is today, it's because of the motivation you gave him. Oh, <laughs> he says that? Yes. Oh, and that's nice to hear. <laughs> so you mean he's doing quite well? I mean, in less than six months, Rayford has exceeded our expectations. Wow. There is no car that drives into this workshop that Rayford cannot fix. Really? He is doing way better than his contemporaries in this place. Anything you are doing, he's looking. Anything you are doing, he's looking. As soon as you leave, he's doing it. Oh, I am so proud of him. <laughs> Do you know when he wakes up first thing in the morning and wears his uniform, he moves. <laughs> and then he comes back at night and he's still energized and wants to do so much. I mean, I am so proud of him. It makes me happy, you know? <laughs> Arifon, he makes everybody happy. We are so proud of him. They talk about him here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, since I got here, I've not seen him. What? Um, he drove out. He went to return one of our clients' cars. You mean he can drive too? I said, that boy is very smart. He does things exceedingly, I mean, beyond what you can. He's really, really smart. This is amazing. <laughs> I am so happy. Good. Hold on, hold on. Are you trying to explain to me that Sophia has been dating Lewis? How long has this been going on? For over one year. Like long before I left, long before I left New York. <sighs> this. Exactly. No wonder she has not been calling me. Let me call you back. I, I need to rest my head. Thank you. Who's that? Come in. Good morning. It's you. Um, How are you? Are you okay? I'm, I'll be fine. Do you mind to share? What is it? I just found out that my girlfriend has been dating, dating my homeboy, my best friend. Hey! And this has been happening for over one year, long before I left New York, right under my nose. That girl is a harlot. 
Hey, girls. I don't know anyone. Who are my friend? Girls, eh? Some girls are very bad. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah? You don't need to cry. See, you don't need to worry yourself. The two of them, they don't deserve you. Allow them. Thank God it has happened like this. So you need to let it go. And focus on your life. See, let me tell you. You do not need a girlfriend at this age. Pika, pika. You don't need a girlfriend. All you need to do is to focus on your life. Focus on what you're doing already. Soon you go to the university. That's all you need. Remember when you told me about the mechanic stuff yeah. and you said Nigerians are making it so discouraging? Yeah. Now, are you not having fun? You I see? am. So just focus on what you're doing, okay? Leave that girl. She's a harlot. She doesn't deserve it. You don't have to say it that no, way. No, little things like this get me out. Thank you. Thank you for being a good friend. No problem. I really appreciate it. No problem. Please don't cry again. No, I'm not, I'm not crying. Stupid girl. Please come and help me. I don't know what pushed me to go and spoil my mom's day. Please come and help me fix it. You broke a chair. I don't know how it happened. Please, you. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Sir, can I can I speak to you, please? What is it about? It's about Chooks. I don't want you to mention that name anymore in this place. Go back to work. Sir, he's my friend and he needs an opportunity to change. Do you know, everybody isn't like you. It's not everybody who is ready to embrace change. In fact, most people are just not susceptible to change at all. He and I had this conversation over and over and he really needs me to convince you on his behalf. If there's anything correct about this non-entity, following what you just said, he should have come to me. He should come and talk to me because I am his elder brother. He lives in my house. Even if most of the time he lives in the bush, especially after he has stolen my money to play gamble and do hard drugs. So I understand. But what if he is scared of speaking to you directly? You know you both haven't been in the best of terms. So what does he want? To steal more money, to go back and play gamble and do hard drugs? No, he really wants an opportunity to turn a new leaf. So we all can change. We all can change if we truly, genuinely want to change. And we stay changed afterwards. And Chooks is at that point. He needs an opportunity to be changed. Please. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You you came quite early today. Yes, I want to break the record. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Sir, please, where is Chooks? I haven't seen him for the past three days. And for the past three days, I have not set my eyes on him. <sighs> not again. You see that boy? Forget about him. He can't change. Okay, sir. Um, I have to just run and get my Overall, see you soon. Okay. What is wrong with you? Uh, why are you making me so ashamed of myself? And what is that supposed to mean? Haven't I tried? Then doing what? Making a total ridicule of all my effort in getting you to good terms to your brother. Is that all you've tried to do? So that's what your mind is telling you itself, right? See, how many times will I tell you that I don't want to be a mechanic? I want to be a bowler! Why will you all not understand me? I literally begged your brother to take you back and he did. And this is how you choose to pay me back. By coming back to this, this is where I find joy. And I will be here until I start calling my shots. 
Fine. Don't call me back until you are done dealing with this mess. I swear, Mr. Mechanic, if I call you, make I die. Nam, when we are done with this bunch of uh, uh, melon, eh? You'll take them to Mama and Kitchen in the market, Gogun. Okay? Mama, I don't think she will buy it because the last time I took it there, she complained about the price. Price of what? Yes. Increase of 100 naira per price. You know? But everyone is aware of the fact that uh, uh, fuel has increased in price and that has affected transportation. She, she will not buy you. She already complained. So no need me going there. So what do you know? Now she will not buy you. Bring back my infant or you sell to somebody else. After all, I am a cheapest customer. In short, I dash out melon safe. She will not buy it. She will not buy Are you silly? I can see you've, you, 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 you've become a very lazy girl. Sorry. It's just that there's no need me going. Your, your food comes from here. Your feeding and everything comes from this. Yeah, Malone and I are going home. Okay. Yes, oh, you're welcome. No, no, no. Hey! Uh oh! You and this, your chief. Eh? You came back with it the other time, now again. Well, Mama had to. You know, as soon as I land the airport, someone brings a cat to me. Okay. It makes movements in this village easier. I can imagine <laughs> a long one. Hi! Um, you know, please bring out the things from the car. No, 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 no. Okay. We can do that later. Let's all go inside first. It looks like you made something really special. Oh, how about you? <laughs> Ray Ford, you mean? <laughs> My grandson Ray Ford goes to work early in the morning and comes back in the evenings. Really? I told really? you. Yes. What changed? <laughs> oh, I guess we both changed. <laughs> All right, let's let's, let's have lunch oh, first. Right, let's go. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> it's okay. I'll open the door. It's magical. so unbelievable. I mean, Rayford here has been a blessing to us here. He's a very intelligent boy. I mean, he does his thing when he should. I can imagine. You know, I've, I've always just known that my son had a really bright future. Um, it just gladdens my heart to 
see that he's already towing that path. Well, all thanks to Grandma. She motivated me to be in the best fashion that I am now. Oh, like, you know, maybe I pushed you a little too hard. <laughs> you mean with the pepper incident? How must you say it? <laughs> well, I guess that's the thing that triggered you eh, into being a good boy. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, I guess we will need to take him for the day. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, yes, all right. Grandma. Thank you, Mr. Alex, for all you do. Anytime. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll be in touch. No problem. It's, it's all right. So, son, hey dad. You said you would like to finish your training before you think of college. Yes, I have um, six months left, and yeah, then after that, I think of college. Okay, that's good. I agree with you. I think that's the most important thing that you need to do now. Because if you miss this moment, every other thing might subsequently not make a lot of sense. Because this is the very foundation of your new life. Absolutely. Mm. This sounds like uh, a welcome speech to a college. <laughs> As a matter of fact, your stepmom cannot wait to have you over at her college. Um, that, I mean, no disrespect, but I don't think I'd like to join that college. <clears throat> well, come on. Having her as a lecturer there just seems so creepy and weird. Well, it's fine. You can join any college of your choice. No one is restricting you. No problem. Um, after the meal, you'll be getting your passport back. <laughs> yes, you can come back whenever you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank I you. Cannot wait to have you. Thank you, Dad. No talking about it. I put no Sorry, oh, no. Go ahead. Mm. Especially when the food is tasty. So, you haven't slept yet. Let me drive you back to New York again. This time he told me about it. Come, I'm sitting here. <sighs> Do you think I'm making the right decision? I mean, staying back here and pursuing a passion when I should be back on the flight to New York with my father. One of the most effective decisions anyone can take is to pursue your lifetime ambition. Every other thing can wait. All right? So to answer your question, yes, I think you're taking the right decision. Are you sure? Very sure. By the way, what's the envelope for? Um, these are my traveling documents. It was handed to me by my father, but I don't think I'll be needing them anytime soon. So I would want you to keep it safe for me. Mm -hmm. right. um, I'll be sticking around until I'm able to finish with my mechanic training and subsequently get admitted into one of these universities here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I can be closer to you and so we can bond more. Bond? <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Thank you. What do you want? I thought I told you to stay off my back. We are heard your dad came back to take you back to America and you refuse to in just because you want to do nonsense mechanic. You want to please others and make them happy and not make yourself happy. And who said I am not happy about my decision? See, I know happy people when I see one. I know happy people when I see one. See, stop all this nonsense. Stop all this nonsense. That's okay. Your point has been made. Back to my question, what do you want? Okay, I stopped you here to look at your foolish face. What is, what is all this? Because you're privileged to have this. And you're misusing it. 
No Makes tent. Sense. Just. Always loyal you. Hey, son. Hey, Dad. How you doing? I'm good. Just trying to unwind after a very busy day at work. You're very much needed. How are you? Are you good? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, we'll be leaving in two days. We? Oui. Yeah. Um, Vanessa and I. Okay, Dad. Um, Dad, I told Grandma that I... She told me everything. And son, I just want you to know that whatever decision you decide to make, it's fine by me. You are an adult now. What? Um, and I just want what's best for you. Okay. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Dad. You care for some? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Good. Yeah. I'd have to call you back later. Thank you. Rayford. Hey, sir. I. This is 150,000 naira. Okay, what are we buying? We are not buying anything. It's for you. Your first salary. My first salary? I thought I was training. I thought so too. But I now discover that you deserve even better. I mean, just manage it. Thank you very much, sir. Anytime. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> Can I give Anytime. you a Come on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> a lot of money. Yes. This your boss must be a good man. A very good man. Because not everybody will give their apprentice this kind of big money. Yeah. One fifty thousand. Not a joke. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess tomorrow I'll go and say thank you. Well, Gamma, that wouldn't be necessary because uh he just gave this out of his goodwill. So you don't have to go say thank you. That's fine. You don't have to. This place is not America. They will go and thank him. Oh. Ah, somebody gave you 100,000. You're saying it's, it's what? Yes. Grandma, you have to go. It's necessary. Okay. And as I leave to visit him tomorrow, I think I'll take him his favorite soup. If you help me find out what it is, then I'll make it ready. Honestly, Grandma, that's, you've been doing too much, okay? You don't have to go with a whole pot of soup to go say thank you because he gave me money. You're doing that, you would be embarrassing me, Grandma. Oh, excuse please. me. Embarrassing you? Oh, okay, no problem. I will go with a pot of soup. Let us all embarrass each other. Hey. <laughs> ah, come on, come on. I know you're acting like this because your father is not here to witness this. No. That's okay. Huh? I've always wanted a day like this to come where I can prove to my father that I can do more. Look, there's no convincing your father. No one should even bother because you've proven yourself to be a focused, yeah. humble, and good guy. And that's all that matters. Yes, now give Grandma a hug. Come on, Grandma loves you. Thank you, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Love you too. Oh, baby. Thank you. Uh, don't forget you have to give Grandma something. Uh, well, you, you, could, you could have it. You could have it. All of it. No, no, no. It's all okay. of it. I'll keep it and we'll be. Not all of it. Yeah, you want some? You can't see position, you know. Like. Sorry, Grandma. What's that? No, it's okay. I'm just telling her to watch her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is the food ready? I'm hungry. Oh, sorry. Uh... It's okay. I. I was still into the conversation you were having with your relative earlier on. That was my mom. I had everything. 
<sighs> Here. Take this. This is 100,000 naira. Add it to whatever you have for the hospital bill. Here. Jesus. What if grandma... Don't worry about her. I already discussed it with her and she accepted that I give this to you and... Oh my God. Here you go. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Well, just say to her when you see her. I sure will. But well, thank you. Know. Thank I mean, you. It's okay. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Ah, Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Ah, what is this? Brothers, I'm very sorry. I know I must have been nothing short of a coward. Or even worse. I know, Brian but I'm very sorry. But why? Oh, the money you stole has finished. So you came back to go through that normal routine so that I'll forgive you and you steal another money and run away. My friend, stand up and get out of here. He is truly sorry. Don't solicit for him. No, I, I spoke with him the other day and he realized his mistake and he's willing to change. Did you also tell him that you have advised me to open an account so that I will not keep money in the house anymore and he will see no money to steal again? He's aware. And besides, that's not why he's here. Then why is he here? Oh, the other thing. See, I still don't have the 800k to give to you so that you go and buy laptop and do Yahoo. No, that's not it. Then what is it? Your forgiveness. My forgiveness has finished. He has finished my forgiveness. Did he not tell you he comes every weekend, he cries and he begs and I forgive him? So which one am I going to give to him now? Please. Please. Please forgive him. He's willing to change. Okay, stand up, stand up, stand up. Thank you. Stand up. Thank you. Make yourself useful. Go and get to so that we we'll, we'll start work. Thank you, brother. Go, 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 go so and get, go and get. I did the talking for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Just go. So we, yes, I can assure you. She said, um, I'll use one and a half attachment. She will take 6,000. 6,000? Yes. Plus one and a half attachment. In them, use the half attachment. Cut it into two. When you get one bundle. Then you look for, in short, you come and do it for you. No, 6,000. This is Christmas now. Just do this calabar number for Christmas. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey Grandma. Oh, hey, hey, my son. What are we doing all these bags? Merry Christmas in advance. So it's eight days to Christmas and I decided to get us all clothes. Yes, <laughs> Christmas clothes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my son. Yeah, oh, Grandma, what, which one is mine? Um, okay. Get this, I think. This the, one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't get any one from me. Uh, I think I'm... your stuff should be in any Okay, me too. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Come on. You it's my grandson. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing what? We're not doing this competition thing. She needs to know her place. <laughs> well, okay, come on. she can come along. I got you this very beautiful dress. It has rose petals all behind it. Oh I love it. <laughs> you Don't try it. It's loaded with this. And you're still giving me rose petals. <laughs> So while we are all in the mood of celebration, I want to use this opportunity to specifically apologize to you, Grandma, for all the times that I've disrespected you, for all the times that I've cursed you out, and for all those times I used foul language on you and cursed you out. I'm so sorry. I also want to use this opportunity to thank you. Thank you for thoroughly me. Thank you for molding me into the man that I have become. Thank you for all your disciplinary actions towards me. At first, I, I didn't feel loved. At first, I thought you had this hatred towards me. I, I didn't know it was for my own good. I thought, you know, doing what you wanted me to do was going to nursing the man that I am. So, Grandma, I'm sorry and thank you. I, I don't even know what to say. You're welcome. You know, when your father decided to take you abroad, 
I was a bit skeptical because I wasn't sure how you would turn out. But then when he brought you back and we tried fixing and molding you, <laughs> yeah, initially it was a bit difficult, but within a short while, you, you, you understood where we were coming from and you, uh, you know, changed and um, eventually lived up to our expectations and even exceeded it. And I must say that you are loved. Okay? You are special. My only grandson, are you kidding me? <laughs> I love you so much and I really appreciate what you've done by accepting to be molded. Mm -hmm. All right? If you had chosen to be gone the other way, it wouldn't have been too good for us, but you made it easy. And... Um, Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Grandma, you don't have to no, do that. No, you have it, plenty of it inside. That's not the point. She keeps eating and eating and eating it. Wow, well, enough is enough. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, before she, before she rudely dipped her hand <laughs> into the container. Mm -hmm. So I love you. And as a grandma, I pray that God will bless Amen. your new personality, your future, your heart. Amen. Amen. Eventually, God will find you a good woman, <coughs> and you people might give me my great grandchildren. Um, I just want to say thank you for everything, and I bless you, my son. Thank you. Yeah. So I have one more surprise. Yeah. Okay. I booked a very beautiful, exquisite five-star hotel. <laughs> Us to all go and have dinner. So dinner on me, five star hotel. Did, is she part of the deal? Well, no, it's all no, three no, of no, us. No, 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 it's not gonna work. This girl will end up disgracing us. <laughs> get She'll get the taste of food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what about wow? Woo, hey. <laughs> Pray.